CISIS IS NOT GOING AS PLANNED. TODAY, VICE PRESIDENT BIDEN MADE A SURPRISE VISIT TO IRAQ IN AN EFFORT TO HELP RESOLVE THAT. CORRESPONDENT KEVIN CORK TONIGHT WITH A STATUS REPORT. The vice president's trip to Iraq comes on the heels of visits by other high-ranking administration officials, Defense Secretary Ash Carter and Secretary of State John Kerry, each meant to assess the pace of the fight against ISIS and to bolster the country's embattled prime minister, Haider Abadi. Experts believe Biden's push for more national Iraqi unity comes at a time when the Abadi government is under increasing economic and political strain. I think it's very clear the vice president is in Iraq in an attempt to shore up Abadi, who is the Obama administration's man in Iraq, someone they're clearly looking to back. Um, and that just goes to show that there is a whole host of problems that Iraq still faces. Problems including the ongoing fight against ISIS, one that extends into Syria, where a fragile ceasefire has given way to increased violence, including a devastating airstrike on an Aleppo hospital overnight that killed more than a dozen doctors and patients. These tactics are abhorrent, they're immoral. But unfortunately, they're entirely consistent with the actions that we've seen from the Assad regime for quite some time. That was the subject of a sometimes heated exchange on Capitol Hill today, as Defense Secretary Ash Carter and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joe Dunford, were grilled by lawmakers about the incremental buildup of force strength in Syria and the plan for Syria with or without Bashar al-Assad. The State Department's not going to go take Assad out. Is there a military component to Plan B? I think what the Secretary, again, I don't know. Or is Plan B just BS? I, I don't, I don't, I'm sure that it's not BS. Senator, when I came in last October, uh, there was a strategy. We made some recommendations last October uh, to accelerate our progress against ISIL. Mm -hmm. uh, those recommendations were accepted by the president, and, and I would say I'm in my job seven months, so I own it. For its part, the administration is assisting the Iraqis with airstrikes to combat ISIS, along with training, advice, and assistance. But experts caution that may not be enough. I think the average American sees the vice president going to Iraq, and it is a reminder that there is a component to this war that's taking place against ISIS that isn't just the military. It's not just defeating them on the battlefield. Shannon, you saw in that piece we talked about an intentional airstrike by the Syrian government in Aleppo. Well, tonight I can tell you about an accidental hospital bombing that took place in Afghanistan last October. Sixteen U.S. service personnel have been disciplined by the Pentagon for their role in that accident that caused the lives of 42 individuals and injured dozens more. None will be charged, however, criminally, we are told tonight. Shannon. Kevin Cork, live at the White House. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm.